Hey guys, this is your boy Malvin and your girl Blakely, and uh, we're here for another episode of our uh, series that we've been doing called the House Arrest series, where we're talking about these books that Paul wrote while he was under house arrest, and uh, we're kind of been going through. We're in Colossians now. We're we're almost done with our with our series, and we're going to back, be back in in worship together soon. And uh, we may change up kind of how we're doing some things, but uh, for today, we're in Colossians chapter four, and uh, we're going to read verses two through nine. So uh, let's go ahead and read. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us, that God may open to us a door for the word, to declare the mystery of Christ, on account of which I am in prison, that I may make it clear which is how I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to how you ought to answer each person. Tychius will tell you about my activities. He is beloved brother and faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. And with him, Onesimus, our faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you, they will tell you of everything that has taken place here. Okay, so the first thing that, that Paul talks about in this section is continue steadfastly in prayer and thanksgiving. You know, thanksgiving he's mentioned over and over again throughout this book, but here he's talking about prayer. Uh, he's telling them to continue in prayer and at the same time pray for him. They say a lot of times one of the best ways to lead people is by giving people responsibility. And I think one of the cool thing that things that Paul's doing here while, uh oh, she's spinning up. Hang on. Okay, so what I was saying was one of the cool things that Paul's doing here is creating a relationship that is really cool and one that's created when you are praying for someone and you know that they're praying for you too. And it's a really cool relationship that you build and it bonds you. And, and the same thing when he goes on to talk about um, Tychius and, and the, the people that he's sending Onesimus you know, to them, he's creating a bond. Um, because church is family. The, the church across the world is family. And so he's creating a relationship where they're praying for him and he's praying for them and putting responsibility on them, even though he's uh, an apostle who's traveled the world teaching the gospel and they are new Christians in a, in a strange place. And, uh, <clears throat> but he also says, he's telling them, you know, as you're doing this, the reason he's in, in prison is on account of declaring the mystery of Christ and that's his job and he's encouraging them to do the same thing and, and in verse 5 he says walk in wisdom towards outsiders making the best use of the time I think in other words I think our thought process you know we've talked a lot about Christ being the center of our thoughts as we're going through this uh, corona stuff or what else we're going through but I think it needs to be our focus even when we go back into the world and, and we're around our classmates and, and our co-workers um, we need to be focused on Christ. And when we do that, one of the ways that comes out is our, the way that we talk is full of wisdom. And the way that we talk is seasoned with salt. It means if anything, it's not boring. When we talk about Christ, it's not something that we have to do. It's something we're excited about and we're not bored with. And we're kind of like, you know, full of wisdom, I guess, like, like, a, like an old grandparent or, or somebody that you look at and you think, Man, they always know what to say. They always say the right things. People should look at us and, and hear us talk and be around us and go, man, why are they different? And the answer is Christ. And the answer is the wisdom that we get from Christ. So um, that's it for today. We'll pick up there. We'll be our last, uh, our, our last lesson will be to um, our next one. And uh, we'll kind of switch up how we're doing things. But love you guys. Blakely says bye. We'll see y'all next time.